Darrell was a, a very serious young child. I always said he was six going on 40 because he always took things very seriously. He loved to play with the older kids. He tried just about everything. He would ice skate, baseball. I got him into golf very early. He took that game up very seriously also. So I can say I watched him grow from a kid to a, a fine young man who I'm very proud of. Daryl and I have been married for 32 years, which is pretty amazing to me. In fact, um, when I think about it, we grew up together. You know, we're, we're best friends. He's an entrepreneur. So when you are married to an entrepreneur, I think you have to be a special person. And Daryl McNair is funny, God-fearing, family-oriented. We have uh, two children, Ariel and Austin. He is the oldest child of Jan and Clarence McNair, and he has two sisters, Jackie and Harriet. He works extremely hard. You know, he likes to have a good time. You know, when he's not working, he's hanging out with us, he's hanging out with his friends, and he just is trying to live life. Visionary. Daryl has a big view of his community and his hopes for the community and what he would love to see for this community. I have known Daryl McNair for more than a decade. Uh, he is a tremendous individual uh, and a consummate professional, uh, but more importantly, he is a man of God. And I appreciate all of those dimensions about him, uh, but I hate when he beats me up on the golf course. Something that people don't know about Daryl, first of all, they know that he's an avid sports fan, but what they may not know is that he was a high school wrestler and he wrestled um, also in college, but when he was wrestling in high school, he wrestled in the 98 pound weight class, <laughs> which to look at him now, <laughs> you know, that's uh, kind of funny if you think about it. So definitely the fact that he was a wrestler. He is humble, and therefore, he will listen to people. He will take under consideration what their thoughts are and blend them with his. Great, great one to have. I'm always impressed with Daryl's um, work ethic, his focus, uh, his ability to multitask, do a couple things and keep it all together. Uh, he's, he's an extraordinary business person because he's an extraordinary person. If I'm thinking about what my dad means to me, he is my number one role, the number one role model in my life. I think it's one of the things that I struggle when people ask, like, who's a hero that you'd want to meet? And I'm like, I've already met my hero. My hero is my dad. When I think about who's the first person that I want to tell great news to, or who's the first person that I want to get advice from, or figure out how they would work in a situation, it's always my dad, and he's the first call I'll make. And, he might not have time in the moment, but he calls me right back and is like, uh, I appreciate that he always gives me the time when I, when I really need it most. He's, he might, he's a pretty even kill guy. Yes. You know, you always know pretty much where he's going to be coming from, and he's not flying off the handle half mm -hmm. the time. Uh, you know, he's that, you know, he's got that <laughs> dad in him. You know, yes. <laughs> you ever met his kids? I mean, they're like almost perfect. You know? <laughs> they're like perfect. Family, right? Yeah, right. They are. <laughs> Is that the new Huxley? I, I, in fact, I did tell him several years ago, man, I'm just going to give you my kids and let you raise them. <laughs> I got to see Daryl in the community, and he does quiet, unwavering support for issues that are really important to him, like college attainment, like education, like uh, workforce development, and, and being making sure kids are really ready for work as they go through their education. And he's just an amazing guy to be able to balance all that out and to be able to do all that and keep it all together and do it in a very authentic way. To me, my dad is my number one fan and cheerleader. I think growing up a athlete, he was he taught me how to play the game of golf, which is my passion. I played in college. He came to my tournament. We still play all the time now. I just think that growing up, he was always there in that regard. And then. As I've moved into my professional career, he's always there to help, listen, and he's, like my brother said there, whenever we have successes we want to share in. He's, he's the number one fan. He's thoughtful. 
He thinks about others. He listens to what people say. Yeah, I would say exceptional. He's a guy that, I, that I've come across that says, that's an exceptional guy on so many different levels. But a dimension of him that they may not see is his commitment to his family, most notably his mother uh, and father who now reside uh, in Florida. And Daryl uh, is intentional about ensuring that he is connected to them at this time in their lives in a very meaningful and significant way, and I love him for that. So Daryl, I'm here to applaud you today and say congratulations on behalf of your community. This award is so well deserved, and we are so thankful that BPACF chose you as the Black Professional of the Year this year. We'll continue to support you going forward. Congratulations, my brother. Daryl and Rona, we love you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're two fantastic people, and we're so lucky that you're a part of our greater Cleveland community. God bless. Daryl, congratulations on this great award that you're receiving tonight from the Black Professional Association Charitable Foundation. It has a long history in Cleveland, an esteemed, iconic history in Cleveland, and so do you. Thanks for the work you do. Thanks for being authentic and bringing your whole self to your business, to your community, to your family. We're a better place because of you, Daryl. Congratulations. Congratulations on this recognition. It is certainly long overdue, but at this time really, really recognizes the tremendous contributions that you have made to Greater Cleveland and beyond. Once again, congratulations. Congratulations, Earl, on your award received. I'm so happy to be part of your Texas team. I wish you a lot of success. Congratulations from the Texas team on receiving this award, Earl. Keep up the good work and see you here. Congratulations. Mr. Daryl McNair. From the MVP team. I'm being named Black Professional of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you, DMAC. Thank you, DMAC. Thank you, DMAC. Appreciate you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We, we love, love you. you.